Hello everyone, Thatching you today's first video to Gemma Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, uh, we're having a look at weather for the for Japanese and CFS V2 models. And I shall get on with that for you very shortly. We've got a 10 to 14 day video update coming up for you later on uh, this afternoon. And we'll also have the ECM WF 42 day forecast. Looking at where we're next six weeks um, for uh, for this evening's video. It'll be around six uh, six ish uh, tonight. We're going to be live streaming after ten o'clock, so I shall see you live uh, after ten, and we'll live stream the pub run and have a look at uh, the risk of snow on Sunday. So it'll be kind of like a pub run slash snow watch type live stream. It's going to be great. It's going to be epic. Maybe after. Uh, nine o'clock, but kicking it all off uh, after ten o'clock, I should say. Um, <laughs> kicking it all off is JMA Friday. So uh, here we go. We're going to have a look at the 500 millibar height anomalies from the North Pole view down. Uh, first of all, so uh, this is the North Pole of the Arctic just here. This is the wider, wider Arctic circle around there, and of course, got the mid latitudes around here. Uh, blue is extrapolating to uh, low pressure, below average heights, low pressure, yellow, orange and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. These charts are broken down into weekly peers and the first weekly peer will take us from the 22nd to the 29th of uh, January. So, it's going to be an unsettled week coming up with below average heights over the UK and much of uh, Northern Europe as well. Uh, and out in the Atlantic too. Now, we have got some higher pressure to our south and it's combined with northern blocking as well. So, high pressure is within the northern latitudes. We're on the cold side of a jet stream, but looking quite unsettled, um, really. So, so quite cold, quite unsettled, uh, with, uh, with, with particularly for northern areas, winds coming in from a northerly direction. So quite a cold and unsettled week to start us off. Uh, week two will take us from the 29th of January to the 5th of February. Still not unsettled, below average heights uh, across the country, high pressure uh, down through the Med, bridging in from the Azores into southern Europe. The blocking is moving more out towards the Canadian side of Greenland, which means that it's actually just rising northwards a little bit, so probably a bit milder in this week as we end January and begin February, going a little bit milder in week two, but but still uh, looking really unsettled. And then weeks three and four will take us from the 5th to the 19th of February, and we find that blocking returns to Greenland, become centred if you like, over Greenland and back into the Arctic, below average heights uh, over and to the south of the country, which means we're probably turning colder again with this, we're probably bringing, bringing in the wind from like a northeasterly direction, possibly you wouldn't totally rule out chance of easterlies uh, here, if this low pressure goes a little bit further south, was say towards Italy, then, uh, then we really could actually start bringing a proper easterly flow, especially if a high pressure was to back towards Scandinavia. But in any case, it looks like it's getting colder again after a slightly less cold interlude from the very end of January, January and beginning of February. Looks like we go into to a colder sort of couple of weeks then as we go further on into February. Let's confirm that with tropical and mid latitude view. Um, so we can't see uh, the Arctic and the North Pole. That's off the chart now. As is Scandinavia, most of Greenland, etc. That's all off the chart up here. Um, just make out the very, very far south of Greenland uh, around there, and that's sort of uh, uh, Newfoundland type area. Um, so, so uh, British Isles top right hand of the chart as you're looking at it. Reminder of the week one, uh, 500 millibar height only with uh, low pressure in off the Atlantic. Uh, it's combined with non-blocking mode, lots of high pressure up here around Greenland. So uh, although heights rise a little bit to our south, we're probably still quite cold in uh, week one from the 22nd, 29th of January. Temperature anomalies are forecast to be below average, a rather colder than average week coming up. And it's still going to sell as well, so uh, precipitation anomalies are above average, so therefore it does raise a prospect of a little bit of snow, uh, potentially, and, uh, and yes, yeah, so, so quite cold and, and wintry to start off. Week 2 is the 29th of January to the 5th of February, with uh, low pressure in off the Atlantic along 
with uh, jet stream moving a little bit further north, which should be a slightly milder week. Actually, it's still cold for Scotland, so Scotland never turns milder, uh, hangs on to hang on to the colder than average temperature for Scotland. England and Wales just turn a little bit milder. Most parts of Europe are turning uh, milder as well. So, so uh, it does get a little bit less cold, let's say, uh, for for the end of January and the start of February. Uh, what's going to go to the precipitation anomaly, which is still above average because low pressure is still dominating the sea. So that's obviously more towards rain rather than snow. Away from Scotland, anyway, where I have to emphasize it looks like we hang on to cold weather uh, throughout. And then we go through to weeks three and four, which takes from the 5th to 19th of February, blocking returns to green, which we cannot see, but we've seen that view down. So we know that blocking comes back to green and low pressure gets forced southwards again along the jet stream. And we should be starting to pull in colder air again from uh, the, the north and the east. So temperature anomalies return to be colder than average in weeks three and four. There we go. Uh, we're back below average again. Most parts of Europe showing quite a big cool down uh, as well. And uh, precipitation on is going dry on average for northern and western parts of uh, the country, but still a bit above average for England and Wales, and especially more southern and east areas. So this does imply again that we're probably bringing easterlies through this period. And um, yeah, as it's getting colder, there is prospect of more snow uh, being in with that uh, as well. So, so how interesting for JMA uh, today. Looks like we've been for a cold February. Right, let's have a look at the uh, Ceph SV2. So, uh, again, these are 500 mm of our heights broken down to week peers. The first week peer will take us from the 29th of January to the 28th, with below average heights right over top of the country, combined with northern blocking around Greenland. And let's change the colour and high pressure across uh, the far southern part of Europe. Winds are uh, trying to return to the west, but it's probably still a bit on the cold side uh, and would be unsettled. Week 2 is the 29th of January to the 4th of February. Uh, low pressure just a little bit further north. We're still with northern blocking, but reduced slightly. Heights a little bit further northwards uh, in towards Spain. Just allows jet stream to come that bit further northwards. So very, very much in agreement with the JMA. Really, these two miles are very much in agreement uh, for weeks 1 and for weeks 2. So cold and potentially a little bit winchy for week 1. And then week two uh, looks less cold. I wouldn't necessarily say overly mild, but certainly looks less cold and um, uh, uh, and unsettled, uh, and more towards rain rather than uh, wintry weather. Uh, and then agreement again for week three. Look at this. It's the 5th to the 11th of February. But below average heights then becoming centred to the south and east of the country. Blocking in the North Atlantic. Heading up towards Greenland and into the Arctic. Means that winds are likely to be coming in from an east or northeasterly direction. Becoming colder therefore. Uh, during uh, week three. The 5th to the 11th of February. Looks like it will be turning colder if that's right. And chance of wintry weather returning. Particularly actually to more southern and east scenarios with batch off low pressure to our south and east uh, could bring snow into the south and to the east and then we go through to uh, week four which is the 12th to the 18th of february still with blocking centered around greenland and iceland trough of low pressure through eastern and also southern europe means we should still be pulling in winds from an east or northeast direction so likely to still be cold as we go into the middle part of February. That could be quite a prolonged and um, protracted cold spell that we have setting up there. Temperature anomalies for week one from the 22nd and 28th of January are going to be colder than average. Cold week coming up to start off with. Uh, week two is slightly milder. 29th of January to the 4th of February. Milder for England and Wales. Anyway, still a bit on the cold side uh, for Scotland. Very mild across most parts of uh, Europe. And look how mild it is across uh, much of uh, North America as well, by the way. Um, go through to week three. And it goes colder again. This is the 5th to the 11th of February. Colder than average uh, there. And most parts of Europe becoming colder too. And then week four, and I see no reason why this should happen. This is the 12th to the 18th of February, and this is going slightly milder than average. I have no idea why that would be happening. 
in particular, given the week for 500 mil of our height normally, which has a uh, high pressure centre over Greenland and Iceland and will be bringing in winds from either an east, a northeast, or a northeasterly direction. I have no idea why the model would send the temperature anomaly mild and average there, but it does. But ignore that, it would be a colder than average uh, week with that much blocking uh, around Greenland and Iceland and winds in from the northeast. Um, but other than that, like the two miles are in agreement. Uh, and then we go through to precipitation. Uh, week 1 precipitation from CFSV 2, 29th, 28th of January. Uh, wet and average to our south. A little bit dry and average to our north for his wintry potential uh, in week 1. Week 2 will be the 29th of January to the 4th of February. Just generally wetter than average. So milder and wetter in week 2. Uh, week 3 is the 5th of the 11th of February. Going drier than average as it turns cold. It turns drier again. Week four is also looking uh, rather dry uh, with the blocking away to our northwest. It's the 12th to 18th of February. But bear in mind, we, uh, you know, as this is colder periods, uh, it won't be completely dry. And any precipitation that develops could well be uh, snow rather than rain. How interesting is January Friday today? So it looks like we're shaping up for a slightly milder interlude, like for the very end of January, beginning of February. We've been expecting that uh, for quite some time. So it is going to get milder later next week, and that carries on possibly to the opening days of February, but not for long. It looks like, you know, we're back into blocking and cold weather uh, as we go further on into February. We could well be shaping up for, for quite a cold February here. Uh, if Jeremy Friday is correct, remember it's just a snapshot of what these two miles are showing. As a caveat, as always, with any forecast beyond five, seven days, so it could all look very, very different um, next week. But for this, for this week, uh, a cold and uh, potentially quite wintry February um, being forecast by by Jeremy and also CFSB2, a cold February with Jeremy Friday. Right, uh, we'll be back shortly with your 10 to 14 day update, so come back for that then. For Jeremy Friday for this week, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.